Hi friends, Merry Christmas, or should I say Merry Quiltmas? If you haven't checked out the 12 Days of Quiltmas, you are totally missing out. I'll link it at the end. What in the world is today's video about? I will break down six of these Christmas quilting and sewing advent calendars for you. This is a huge spoiler alert. You don't wanna see what's in these boxes? Move on down the road. <laughs> I'm going to have a keep pile and a giveaway pie. At the end of the year, I'll just do a giveaway on my channel of everything that I really don't need in these boxes. Enough talking already. Let's get busy seeing what a thousand dollars worth of advent boxes look like. Let me break it down for you here. This is a list of all of the boxes, the cost and the shipping and everything included with it. Here is the grand total almost a thousand dollars. Since Martelli's gave me my box for free, huge shout out to them. Thank you so much. I didn't add any shipping in. So if you did add in the shipping, you'd be over a thousand dollars at this point. Now at first glance, without even opening any of these boxes, I think the Doan family at Missouri Star Quilt, they win for packaging. That looks like so much fun to open. So Jenny, you win this one. This right here is cotton cuts. Right off the bat, we see a bunch of these brown wrappers. This should be all fabric right here. And this one has notions in it. How to make a corner bookmark, okay. So here we have a bunch of fun sayings. Wool me up buttercup, tracing new possibilities. So that's fun. Oh my, Jenny. That's nice, Jenny. Look at all those lovelies. Oh my goodness, the world. Okay, so that's what Jenny's looks like when you first open it. Martelli's gives you a nice thank you and a clear bag here. Oh, it looks like a ruler of some sort. It feels like one anyways. Look at this. I love the way that they packaged some of the products in actual quilting cot. It's festive too. I love it. Way to go Martelli on that. Nice touch. And this too has a box full of stuff. This one right here from the Ginger Quilter, it actually opens up like a traditional advent box. You definitely do have to punch through to get to the gift. Ooh, let's peek. Ooh, I see something. Okay, let's hold on there. Merry Christmas from the Ginger Quilter. Happy sewing, Natalie. Very nice. This one right here from Stitch and Company. This one is a very solid box. It came with a little personalized hang tag for the sewing channel, TSC, which was very nice touch. This one looks like another traditional advent Christmas box. These ones actually have real boxes to open up. So that's going to be so much fun. The box artwork is by Gingerbur. So if anybody's wondering about that. Happy holidays from Stitch and Supply Company. Very nice. Upon first look-see, when we first open up the box, who's gonna win this one? To be honest with you, I'm most excited. Jenny's box. And I'm also most excited about Stitch and Company's box because it's packaged so well. You can tell they put a lot of thought into their advent box. It's a toss up for me between Stitch and Company and Missouri Star. Okay y'all, this is what the mother load loot looks like on my sewing tables. Oh my word. Everything is out in the open. Let's take a look and see what our bounty is. Cotton cut notions box. Zipper bag pattern with two tiny charm packs. Tula pink project journal and a cotton cuts pen. An iron rest four inch square wool mat. Two small flexible rollers. Small dritz ruler. Set of small acrylic templates. Thimble, a quick ripper. Reusable pocket tote. A needle carry card. Two tiny charm packs. Two sets of pins in a glass tube. The cotton cut 13 days of notions was impressive. If my calculations are right, which who knows, they could be wrong, I don't know, because I'm terrible at math. 
They're right, we are $40 ahead in value with this entire box. It was supposed to have 13 notions in it, but it ended up having 19 because they did a lot of doubles. I've already put together my keep pile. My giveaway pile is going to be this pattern, this roller, these two tiny charm packs, this thimble, Drix ruler, needle carry case. That's what we have for the giveaway. This is what I'm keeping. I have a favorite in this box. These bougie pins right here. Oh yeah, they look bougie. Here are all 31 of the fat quarters in the fat quarter cotton cuts, 31 days of fabric. Some of these will come in very handy at those times when I need a certain color for a certain project. You know what I'm talking about. Those were the 31 fat quarters from Cotton Cuts. Let's take a look at the value here. Had they have just sent the 31 fat quarters, I valued them at $3 each. That would have been a $93 value. We paid $69, which put us over about $13. Also added in some patterns, and these are valued at $6 each. With all of that, our value really went high at $43 above what we paid. Cotton Cuts is looking pretty good right now. Cotton Cuts also added in a bunch of these really nice sayings in every single fat quarter bag. I'm going to give away all these cards. Since I don't follow patterns at all, ever, I'm giving away one, two, three, four, five. All five of them. Out of all 31 of these fat quarters, which ones am I going to give up? Only three these three giveaway. Now on to the ginger quilter box. We have a Dolly Basics charm pack here, a tiny pair of scissors, some letters to mark your piles of fabric, some aura fill, five set of rotary cutter blades, some pins, a finger seam ripper, a needle minder, and a needle sharpener some wooden coasters with trees on them, and two coupons and a sticker. Let me pop a picture up right here of the amount that it would cost you if you were to buy all of these items right now. See the two big X's there? Let me explain. The only reason I didn't value this box higher with the coupon and the PDF pattern, there's a code that I'm hiding right here. When I followed the code with my phone, it took me to a page. I'll pop it right here so you can see. It told me that I had to buy three PDF patterns first to get the fourth one free. That's not a good deal for me, so I didn't even add that in because that's not going to be a factor at all. So, and As far as the 20% off at the store of the box, I won't use it. So I would have much rather had something in that advent box instead of these codes. So. But that's just now i'm not boohoo in this box at all i love this five inch charm pack right here this has got some darling fabrics in it keep five rotary blades that's a keep these wood coasters giveaway i use superior thread so this is a giveaway these letter organizers giveaway the buy three one free and the 20 percent off at ginger quilter giveaway and the rest of this for me is a keep. Here is the Stitch and Company box. I'm not going to be able to find all these specialty items to be able to give you uh, numbers on them, so I'm sorry about that. These right here are actual leather. It's engraved in there, the sewing channel XOXOX. You would sew these on your projects. This is actually so neat. Because honestly, I was kind of bummed after day one, which was this glue applicator tip, which I don't know why they made that number one. I think they were trying to throw us off. These right here are Stitch Supply Company scissors. And let me tell you, they are solid and they are nice. I really do like these scissors. Out of the whole box, this one is my favorite. It has a little tiny charm pack in there called Jolly Darlings, which they are absolutely darling. So in this one box came the charm pack and it also came with this wooden box right here. And this is solid wood. I mean, this is nice and heavy, let me tell you. And it came with these two fabrics right here. I absolutely adore these fabrics. I mean, look at that. 
I was so impressed with this particular box. It was, I think it was day four. And to top it off, they give you this cute coaster pattern that you would download for free. My favorite in this whole box. This one was kind of okay. It was just some pretty paper tags that you would put on Christmas presents. It is designed by that ginger burr that made our box. Knot and thread design. There is a scan code on the back to make that darling tote bag. Super cute. I love that tote. I can't wait to make it. And look at this zipper. I've never seen a gingham zipper. Oh my word, too cute. I'll be using that. You know I will. It's so cute. You can see what I mean when I say these are all very, very different items. Right here from Juicy Juice, we have these pretty socks and they have, you know, the quilt block there on it, which was, it's cute. I love it. I'll definitely be sporting those. <laughs> this is like a hand lotion body balm and it's, comes out like that and you would twist it up and then you would put on it smells lovely mm, I love the smell of this here is some holiday thread by Wonderfill called glam more so pretty there's a tiny charm pack called lazy afternoon it has some fruit and stuff on it really cute this right here I'm not quite sure what it is but it's called woolly sheep dots and I think it's a pin cushion, but I could be wrong. I don't know, but it's super cute. <laughs> it's like all felted. Looky here, we have another five pack of rotary blades. Always can use these. This is so custom and so cute. I can't even stand it. They really customize this box. Have the sewing channel rules on there, but guess what it is? It is a tape measure. I mean, for real, are you for real? <laughs> it goes all the way to 39, it looks like. Very nice. I love it. I'm so absolutely impressed with this box. Here are some regular sew-on labels. I made this made with snacks, made with snacks. I don't understand that one, but anyways, made with love and also coffee. That's definitely me. <laughs> this is cute. It's a quilt binding tool. This right here is a, if I can't say this one more time, we're going to leave this in. I'm not even going to edit it. This right here is a ginger burr needle minder. There we go. Or I'm not too crazy about, unless I put it on maybe a sweatshirt or something. It's an iron on, it says and it says maker, just a sticker that was in there. This is a needle threader, which, yeah, we can always use those. Is a patch, it says let's sew. This is a light up seam ripper, so that'll totally be fun to use. There is a code on the back and I hit that code and it took me absolutely nowhere. So I still have no clue what I'm supposed to do with these little round things with the letter T on them. Any of you know, you let me know. KP Creates. This right here was number 25 in the opening of the packs. It was in a flat envelope. It's just a copy of a picture of a sewing machine. I'm not that thrilled with this because I don't know. I mean, I suppose I could hang it up. Overall, I did enjoy opening this box. Is it worth the $200? I'm not sure, you tell me. I loved this box. I think because it had a lot of personalization to it. I don't know. My absolute favorite was this right here. I can't wait to make this and I'm not usually like that about any projects or anything that I see coming across, you know? Home run on this one. This was day four. <laughs> Key. What am I giving away? Blue tip, I have one already. The Patch, Lazy Afternoon by Zen Chic. I don't do a lot with paper crafting. It's going in the giveaway. With the code on the back, the website I went to, I can't figure out what it is, so mm, giveaway. <laughs> pens. Actually, these pens look a little cheap, so mm. And I received a bunch of pens already that are bougie. Remember those bougie ones that we got over in Cotton Cuts? Yeah, I'm keeping those. These ones, sorry, so I want to get these giveaway. <laughs> These two ones that said made with snacks, I don't know. I don't really understand them, I guess. So I don't, I'll never use them. So give away. 
and this right here, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to put this in my sewing room or not. It's, it's not that great. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, it's going in the giveaway. The rest of this right here, it's going in the keep pile. Ooh, it's getting big too over here. I don't know. I may need to get a bigger bin. I mean, this alone right here, right? I mean, so cute. I mean, I love this. Thank you, Stitch and Supply Company. I got two more boxes to go. Help. I just finished opening all 25 packages in the Jenny Doe Countdown to Christmas box. And all I can say is, this is an amazing box, really. I'm actually speechless a little bit to see how much she actually put in this box for the price. The price point for what you get in this box is absolutely phenomenal, amazing. There's some things, yeah, I won't use, but there's some things I totally will, and I thought, oh, that's a good gift. So I'll just go through a few of them with you here. For one thing, this mug right here, cute, okay? Hands down, cute, keep, darling. Keeps the date for you. It's a novelty item, sure, but I like it, keep. This is a really nice, solid acrylic tray. Sure, it says, welcome to Hamilton, Quilt Town, USA. But you know what? We all have learned from Jenny along the way at least one thing, one tip, right? Now we got a tray from there. <laughs> I may use it in the kitchen. I don't know yet. I hope it's food safe, right? Keep. I have no clue what number the package was that these came in. As I'm unboxing, I can see kind of what goes with what. So bear with me as I just show you the whole thing. This charm pack right here, Merry Little Christmas, has some absolutely darling <laughs> prints in it. I mean, home run. This red right here goes with this. Beautiful. The thread also goes with this. There's a white dot right here. You can't see it, white on white. They give you all this right here to make this. They also give you the pattern. How sweet, right? It's super cute. I love it. This right here is Crazy Quilt Red Work Tree Kit. I like it all right. It's kind of Scandinavian almost, but this is going in the giveaway pile. One of you might get it. This is a carrying station when you have a lot of needles that are threaded and you're constantly like sewing something like little hexes and stuff like that. This is good to have this right here when you're traveling. Really cute looking beeswax in the shape of a thread spool. It's cute, but it's going to give away because I already have a bunch. This right here says that it's Jenny's button jar. They give instructions on how to make the top for like a pin cushion type thing. I don't need this, so I'm gonna go ahead and gift this to somebody. So I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. This is a binder right here to journal all of your quilting patterns and such. And they also give you a pattern here called the Disappearing Hourglass Medallion. It's all bound right here, and it also has these clear see-through pages that you can take in and out and to put your pattern into. That's kind of cute. I think this is a keep for me. Even though I don't have patterns, I can put whatever in there. Here's a charm pack of Kona solids. Yes, absolutely keep. You never know when you need a solid. I've always wanted one of these right here and it's in my favorite color, so that's good. You put your old rotary blades in this and you can cut threads from your tabletop. Perfect. It's a pillow and you take and put white buttons on it in the shape of a snowflake. They give you the blue fabric here, the pattern. It's called here the button pillow pattern. Here's a marking Quilter's Choice by Roxanne, like white chalk in there. This is a rotary cutter and scissor holder pouch. Did come with your magnetic snap. I'm gonna keep that. Couldn't figure this one out. I mean, I know what it says it is, a, acrylic bolts and such, but the logo is backwards on all of mine. I wasn't sure if like, it was a sticky that needed to come off and I can't get anything off of there. You let me know down in the comments if I'm supposed to take the back off of this or if it's just supposed to be backwards for some reason. I don't know, let me know. Some fabric bolt removable labels, some clips to clip the fabric onto it. This right here is an embroidery hoop and it has some pictures and such that you can 
cross stitch on, make a keychain, a necklace, and get some different things. I'm gonna give this to somebody else. Here is our replica building in an ornament form of Missouri Stars building. You can put a light up in there to light this up. This is cute. It's cute. Tweet yourself purse DIY kit. Looks like a leather snappy purse. I'm gonna gift this. I don't think I'll do this. This is very interesting. This is iron-on labels for the backs of your quilts. I can see a lot of designs in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this and use this because I need to label my quilts more. Parking for quilters only. <laughs> this is really cute. I will put this up in my sewing room here somewhere. I'll find a spot on the wall, so cute. I'm all about useful. And this right here is absolutely darling and useful. I love it for travel. I mean, it's a hard, soft case. You open it up and nothing's going to get crushed in here, whatever you put in here. You could use it for sewing supplies. I don't know. I think I may want a few of these. I don't know. Jenny, do you have any more of these? Maybe in a different color way? because I want to use these in my sewing room. I want to use them when I travel. I mean, home run with this one. This is my favorite thing, I think, in the whole box. Here I have unwrapped all of Martelli Notions Advent box. There is a lot here to take in. Just like the last two boxes, I will not be adding any prices in here. There are just too many made to order things here that I cannot put prices on and I'm not even going to begin to try. Those other notions and such, they're a lot easier to find, but these, no way. Let's get into a few of the things that I love about this Are box. You enjoying my video today on a thousand dollars worth of quilting advent boxes? If you are, please do me a favor, hit the like button and share this video on all your social media platforms. I mean, for real, this took days to make this video. Help me out. You already knew that I loved how they wrapped some of the products in their box with fabric. Press this fabric and folded it real nice. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Not only does it cut down on waste, we get to use some of this quilting cotton in our future projects. That's wonderful. Martelli makes these really nice solid templates that are non-slip. That's what this is right here, is a template in the pattern for this peppermint twist. Mm, makes me want a peppermint right now. <laughs> this tea towel is absolutely gorge. Thank you. This is a really cute Martelli branded tote bag. I'll definitely use that. This Christmas fabric right here is absolutely beautiful. I would have never have chose this on my own, but I'm so glad that they thought of it and put it in my box because it's beautiful. They gave us a whole entire kit with instructions with another template, with the keychain on it, and with the chapstick. It's to make a chapstick holder. And honestly, this chapstick, mm, Mm -mm -mm. It's vegan and it's wonderful. So soft. Thank you. This could go either way. It could be a candy cane or it can be a J for Jesus. I'm going to choose J for Jesus. Some Moda socks. Super cute. Really sparkly pens with this cute magnetic notebook that says Merry Quilting on it. So cute. We have all these other templates that they sent. A star and an angel. They sent us a Christmas ornament for our tree. I love this calendar. Oh my word, where do you find this stuff? <laughs> it has so many cute quilting pictures on the back. It is also Martelli branded. It's one of those insulated cups. It can go hot or cold. But when I opened it up, it had this really cute message in a bottle, like a vial and it has cocoa and little marshmallows in the top. I mean, right? <laughs> Candy cane coasters. Cute. Love these Martelli snips. Oh my word, are they solid. Oh, I needed these. Made by Cheeky Maiden Soap Company. I sprayed this in my room. This is awesome. I will totally use this. My sewing room smells yummy. Hmm. Wow. Thank you so much, Martelli and Mam. This is what $1,000 worth of quilting and sewing Christmas Advent boxes look like. What do you think? Be looking for my giveaway toward the end of this year. Look at your screen right now.
The 12 Days of Quiltness is happening. It's the biggest thing in quilting. You don't want to miss it. Click that link. It'll take you right to the 12 Days of Quiltness. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.